Once you go black, you never go back. After you go white, ain't no sexes. All right. <laughs> if only race and sex were as simple as a stereotype. What is up, sapiosexuals? It's your girl, Dr. Sanjaya, your favorite sexologist, serving up sex ed with a spicy twist. Booyah! It is so good to be back live on the mic at Joel Radio in Miami, Magic City. You know what I'm talking about. The sexiest city in the world. What is up, people? What is up? So the sex situation we're getting into right now is all about race. Yup, we about to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Doing the deed with someone of another color. Y'all hear me? Let's liven up this space by getting down to the nitty gritty on sex and race. Oh yeah. (laughs) Did you know that rates of interracial marriages in America have nearly tripled since 1980? Yes. Now, according to the latest data from the Pew Research Center, over 15% of marriages were interracial in 2010. And you know what? That was like 10 years ago. So you know that number has just climbed mightily ever since then. Among newlyweds, over 9% of whites, 17% of blacks, 25% of Hispanics, and 27% of Asians What? They married someone from a different race. Yeah, baby. (laughs) Research also estimates that interracial cohabitation, you know what I'm talking about, living together, shacking up, all that. Well, those rates are about double the rates of interracial marriage. And if that many interracial couples are living together and getting married, what? Imagine how many are dating. I mean, when you really think about it, y'all, All the different races from all around the world are just having sex with each other. Mm -hmm -hmm. Just a big old, big old, big old racial, you know, sex fest. That's what we have in a big racial sex fest. Let's just all have sex with each other. Okay, let me put this in the proper context. It's great to date a white guy because they'll go down on you and brothers won't. When you date a white chick, she'll do anything freaky that you want her to. Mm Mm-hmm. If you pull a black girl's hair without asking, you will get cussed out. (laughs) You date white guys, but can they really throw down like that? All black guys are huge. It's in their DNA. Duh. (laughs) Now, Courtney Stars mentions lots of lines like this in her article. Do black and white people have sex differently? Now, as a black woman raised and socialized around whites, Miss Stars was on a journey to find out if she had sex like a white girl, right? And I I applaud that. She's like, I'm black, but I've been raised white, so do I have sex like a black girl or a white girl? I don't know, (laughs) you know? So she went on a date with a white man, and then she asked about his sexual experiences with black women. And you know what he said? He said that his sexual experiences with black women were very vanilla, you know, like super basic. And Miss Stars expressed that she had the same idea about black women in bed. And I'm like, what? You a black woman who thinks that black women are boring in bed? What is wrong with you, girlfriend? Right? I was actually a little offended. You know, like a black woman who thinks that black women are boring? Boo, 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 boo. Okay? That really surprised me, actually, because... It's quite the opposite of the hypersexualized stereotypes that have been associated with black women throughout history. You know, the Jezebel, the super sultry black women who simply, you know what, they just can't help themselves from seducing white men. You know what? <laughs> we just like always so horny, always needy, always looking for a white guy to do us, right? <laughs> but in reality, y'all really understand that that is just a stereotype. It's just a myth that black women are always desire sex. There's absolutely no scientific basis for it. In fact, there's no scientific basis for any of the stereotypes about race and sex. That's why research on this topic is nearly non-existent. Seriously, unless you have sex with every single person in the world, how could a researcher even claim to understand how everyone of a specific race has sex? 
And how could a researcher explain the sex behaviors of people who are mixed, like me, more than one race? You know, like, are half my sex behaviors white and the other half of my sex behaviors black? I mean, come on now. My sex behaviors? Uniquely Sanjaya, okay? I might be mixed, but I promise you, just because Meghan Markle and Holly Berry are also mixed, you know what, and another million women out there just like that, my sexual repertoire is uniquely my own. Booyah! Okay, nobody else is claiming that except me. Nonetheless, all right, nonetheless, one study, it does claim that compared to African-American women, white and Latinx women are much more likely to engage in other sex acts than vaginal intercourse, right? So there is one research study out there saying, yes, black women are actually vanilla in bed because white women and Latin women are much more likely to, you know, participate in all of the other sex acts other than intercourse. What? But you know what? The same research also stated that white women were 30% more likely to give and receive oral sex than black women. And Latin? Latinas? Well, you know what? They're right in the middle of both races, right? But when it comes to anal sex, <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> when it comes to anal sex, Latinas, yes, they're in first place. Yep, yep. According to this research, the authors associate anal sex among Latinx women with traditional gender roles and male dominance within the Latin culture. But you know what? There are major problems with this study. I got some issues with it. I'm going to tell you. The first is that it only describes the behaviors of people who actually participated in the study, right? And all the people who participated in this study, you know where they were recruited from, right? They were recruited from food stamp offices, public health units, sexually transmitted disease clinics, family planning clinics, and drug treatment centers, okay? Now, if that's where you are shopping for your lovers, then this study could be very meaningful to your love life. But... If you are not shopping for your lovers at the food stamp place and um, the STD clinic, you know what I'm saying? Then uh, maybe this research really doesn't apply to you at all. This study also only had 438 participants. They were all of low socioeconomic status. You know, they were broke, okay? They were broke. And um, they also were participating in sex behaviors that increased their risk for contracting HIV. So we know that is about that population that was in this study, okay? So if the black and white and Latina women in your life sound different than this study population, you know what? This research cannot apply to them, which is exactly why you should not assume the next Latina that you like wants to have anal with you. <laughs> no, no, no. You might get a backhand, right? You're like, oh, 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 but Monica, 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 Monica. Oh, I love you, Monica. Let's do anal. You know what Monica's going to do? Booyah! Why you think I want to do anal with you, bro? Exactly. And I'm with Monica. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, we have so much more race and sex stuff to discuss. So, baby, no matter what race you are, please stick around for a minute while we take a quick break. I love, love, love when people email me their sex questions. And I always want you to know I will honor your confidentiality and answer your question on the air. <laughs> if you have a sex question that you want answered in a future show, simply email me at S-O-N-J-I-A at D-R-S-O-N-J-I-A, that's Sanjaya at DrSanjaya.com, and I will do my best to answer it for you. Welcome back to Sex and South Beach. Now let's get back on track with the sex and race chat. So the real reason you cannot judge people's sex behaviors by race is dun, 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 dun. race is just a social construct. Yes, race is not biology at all. In fact, there is no gene or any other biological element unique to whites, blacks, Asians, Latinx, whatever. Also, there is absolutely no neurological patterning that distinguishes one race from another. Nope. And it's the same with digestive tracts, hand-eye coordination, muscle development, and everything else. 
That's why I know lots of black people who can't dance and lots of white girls with big old butts, okay? Like my mama, for example. (laughs) Dark or light skin only indicates how close to the equator a person's ancestors lived. It doesn't tell you which population they descended from, which is exactly why people look at me and they call me Brazilian, Dominican, Puerto Rican, or as my racist ass neighbor loves to say, mulatto. (laughs) I definitely look like my ancestors are from a place that brown people come from, but you cannot tell what race I am because race is completely man-made. It is a man-made classification system, and there has never been a successful scientific way to justify any biological classification of human races. But don't get it twisted. No, my people, do not get it twisted. This does not mean that humans don't have biological variations. We absolutely do we have many biological variations but the variations are not dependent on race unfortunately as long as people hold on to the myth of biological races racial stereotypes and biases are going to diminish our sexual experiences the reality is sex is complicated and so is race and it's so easy to make sexual assumptions about people based on their race But you know what? That does not make sex better. Mm -mm -mm. In fact, it can actually make sex worse. I've helped clients who were disappointed by their sexual experiences because they expected their lover to behave a certain way based on their race. For example, a white woman said she was disappointed by her latest sexual experience with a black man. She explained that, It was just regular. It was like having sex with a white guy, you know? And that's not really what I was expecting. And because my previous experiences with the black men, with black men were just super amazing, I expected that this guy would do it too. But they were just, he was just regular. And you know what? That's effed up, right? That is so effed up. Her prior experiences with the black men were awesome, but her current experience with the black men was just mm-mm-mm because she said he behaved like a white man. Why not just say he was not a great lover, okay? <laughs> Why do you have to racialize it? Sex is super individualized, and everybody does it differently, including people within the same race. And even when you're with someone of your own race, it's easy to make sexual assumptions or racial assumptions about their sex behaviors. That's because we all have an inherent bias. And it's important. It's really important that we recognize this. We have preconceived notions, ideas about people that we associate with race. And this is especially true in America. But when you're having sex with someone, people want to be seen, felt, and received as an individual not a representative of their race. (laughs) That is way too much pressure, y'all. I cannot imagine having sex with someone and feeling the pressure of representing all the other women with similar ancestry to mine. That is just way too much. It's important to remember that sexual activity is a very, very personal expression and that the best sex is a uniquely spectacular experience created by two individuals achieving mutual ecstasy together and lastly just because you've been with someone of a specific race or you have a child of a different race you know what that does not mean that you're exempt from being a racist (laughs) Mm -mm -mm. I remember a black female client I helped for a really long time she was bothered that her white male partner loved to call her a black woman Though he didn't say it in a derogatory way, she said it made her feel as though her blackness was a major part of the reason why he was with her. He sometimes yelled it proudly when they were out, my black woman, or even during sex, he would exclaim, my beautiful black woman, that it made her unsure whether he saw her as an individual or whether he had a fetish for black women (laughs) and whether he understood that beyond being black, She was also a human being, and she wanted to be recognized as a unique human being, expressing her sexual desire with this person. And may I remind you, 
that the very best sex happens when two humans who see, feel, and respond to each other as unique souls coming together in the name of ecstatic pleasure, what, beyond race, that is what makes the very best sex. Now, baby, let me give you a climax, you know, mm -mm -mm, that climax, something to make you remember me by, Uh uh-huh. One, interracial relationships are skyrocketing. Over 15% of marriages in 2010 were interracial, and the number of interracial couples living together and dating is like more than double of that, if not more. Two, race is not a biologic reality. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is a social construct, man-made. There is no biological genes, patterns, or sex behaviors specific to any race in the world. The color of someone's skin simply indicates how close your ancestors lived to the equator. That's why there's no scientific way to categorize sexual behaviors or any other characteristics based on race. And three, all of us, you know what we need to do? Check our own racial biases and beliefs because incorporating race into your sexual expressions may not be copacetic with your partner. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mandingo! Should probably never be yelled during sex with a black man. <laughs> Aw, y'all, I had so much fun chatting with you today about sex and race. For your daily dose of Nookie knowledge, check me out on all the social media networks. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Come on, baby, let's link up. It's Dr. Sanjaya, D-R-S-O-N-J-I-A, all day. Thanks so much for tuning into Sex and South Beach, where everybody comes for happier, healthier sex. 